Okay, this is a tutorial on how to do wavelength or frequency calculations using the speed of light. Let me show you. The speed of light equals frequency times wavelength. And just showing you that with this equation, if you look at this picture right here, it's always going to be 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, which is the speed of light, divided either by frequency or wavelength. So it's always the same calculation. So let's go through this here. So if I give you a problem, if you look at the video, one of the problems, I'm going to clear this out, is if you lose this site, use this site here, the online calculator, you can use your phone, you can use whatever it is, but make sure you know how to use it. And I know that sounds crazy, but listen to me carefully here. So if I give you a thing, the frequency equals 2 times 10 to the 15th meters per second, that's the fastest traveling, and you want to know the wavelength, you have to start, every single time we do these, you start with the speed of light, 3 times 10 on this calculator. Make sure you check with me whatever you're using for a calculator, that you can find a key that does this. The exponent key means times 10, all right? And then you put in 8. Bingo. If you use this one, you should see this, and then you should see this every time you do it. So take this number the way it is right there, and then plug in the number that's given into your calculation. For those of you doing the um, spectroscopy or the star learner, a star locator, I'll be the numbers on the left-hand side. Take that number and plug it in right now. So if the number is 2 times 10 to the 15th, you would put 2. Instead of times 10, you put EXP. 1, 5 is the 15th equals... And your answer is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 7th for a wavelength, all right? The E times 10 minus 7, all right? So next problem, let's clear this out. So if you get the next one and you want to find the frequency, if you're given the wavelength of something that's 4.1 times 10 to the minus 7th, you would do it this way here. And notice what I do every single time, 3 times 10 to the 8th which is time, the speed of light, EXP is your 10, E, divide. There, re, look at this, it's the same as I just did it before. All right, plug in the number from your question. In this particular one, 4.1, instead of times 10, you put EXP, which is your times 10. In this calculator, you put minus seven. And then you do, equals it comes up to 7.3170732 e times 10 to the 14th i rounded off on this particular one been a question it got rounded off to 7.32 the 7 higher than 5 that becomes 32 that's your answer next here's another one now you're given frequency it wants to know the wavelength for something that has a frequency of 9.82 times 10 to the 15th. So, watch this. Third time we done this, third time we did the same thing. We always side off, three, EXP, eight, boom, divide. No matter what it is in this particular type, be careful if I give you something different, but as far as this year goes and the question we're doing, you won't get anything different than this, especially even for the midterm. I expect you to know how to do this for the midterm. And then, in this particular one, it gives you a frequency of 9.82 times 10 to the 15th. So I'm going to do 9.82 exponent 1, 5, and equals... And we come up with 3.0549892 e times 10 to the minus 8 or e to the minus 8. You got to round it off because, depending on the way your answers are given to you, so it got rounded off 5 or higher. This gets rounded off to 3.1 times 10 to the 8. All right. And that's the end of it. Each time, just remember every time you do this, whatever problem you do, you should always start off looking like this on this calculator. If you use a diff calculator, let me see you.
um, talk to me. But other than that, that should be how every single one starts with. All right. Thank you very much. Hopefully listen to this so that when 